What's up, nieces and nephews? Welcome back to the congregation. It's about, uh, what is it, 9.45 in the morning. We're heading out to a poker run, which is not something... I think I've done one poker run in my whole life, and I don't even think I played the hand in the poker run. I think I just went along. Uh, a couple of our, I will, I will call them acquaintances. I mean, they're friends, but you guys know how it is. You got some friends that are closer than others. Uh, Brenda and Doug, they, uh, actually, she uh, she was a bartender here at uh, the old Glenwood Tavern. And uh, her and her man were out riding around. A car in front of them locked up their brakes. It caused the pack to... Uh, to also lock up their brakes and I guess his rear tire hit the painted lines while he was locked up so it kind of you know when it caught again it got them all squirrely threw them off and they're both pretty seriously injured anyway they were in the hospital for a while and uh Brenda's back to work she works in Ormond Beach now and uh, I don't know what Doug does for a living but I don't know if he's back or not I think his injuries were a little more severe than hers so this poker run is going to benefit them. So I'm really looking forward to doing it. The bad thing about this poker run is that it is July 1st and it is 89% humidity. Uh, I think, yeah, stay back there. I don't want you next to me. You shut the fuck up. I am next to you. She won't. No, no, you're not. Look, now you're next to me. <laughs> she always stops like we're riding in some coffee shop or, or something. I think I just gave you guys a weather report. It's been a long time. This weather report has been brought to you by WMBR 1976.5 on your FM dial. It used to be like an automatic thing at the beginning. I did it every time, and uh, people have called me out on it, saying, uh, you know, where's the weather reports, or I miss weather reports. Now, all of you uh, won't get that, but uh, for my longtime friends here, um, yeah, you guys get it. So this poker run today is going to uh, it's going to take us from Ormond Beach all the way down to Samsula. Uh, this little bar called the Beaver Bar up here. And, you know, I'm going to wet my whistle up here at the Beaver Bar. Nothing like a good wet beaver to start your day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that little morning dew. Oh, boy. Man, I tried so hard to... Uh, well, I didn't try that hard. It would have worked. But I've got my, my first manufacturing vest in my bag. I was really going to wear it today. Uh, I want to talk more about it. They've given me a little incentive... Uh, we're about a third of the way there. I'm not going to tell you what that incentive dollar amount is, but uh, you guys have ever thought about buying a vest, jacket, pants, gloves, whatever? Check those guys out. They're, they're such high quality. I'll try to get a picture in that thing later for the Instagram. I'm sorry to sound like a salesman, but they've got a cool uh, custom option available um, if I can get to a certain point. So I'm really trying to get there, you know? Oh, boy, it feels good out here now. Uh, you know what? I I wasn't going to record yet. I think I was going to wait till um, we got closer to the bar. But Bo Mama was being funny back here in the neighborhood. So I turned the cameras on and now she's quiet. So, <laughs> you got a stage fright? You haven't given me an opportunity to be funny. Here I am. Now, she was being funny right out the gate. So, I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't turn the cameras on. Everybody knows she's the real star of the show. It's not me. But yeah, aside from. Um, I mean, we're getting out today, but we have not ridden a motorcycle in three weeks and one, two, three days. So 24 days it's been since I have ridden a motorcycle. And you might be thinking to yourself, the horror, shock, and all. Let me tell you, we went uh, on a Thursday night over to uh, Teddy Morris' Harley Davidson. They had a bike night. I guess every Thursday is a country night. So it's a country night slash bike night. We rode then. Um, I forgot what was going on the following weekend. Uh, we did ride then. My next day off was 4th of July, and I spent all that day uh, drinking in the garage, working on the banana hill. And right after that, if you guys are uh, you guys are in my Discord, which uh, you know you get an invite link if you join Patreon. Uh, if you haven't joined Patreon and considering it, you know, come on in. It's um, you know, it really helps support the channel. Some of the endeavors that uh, I'm trying to take care of, especially with this banana hand being what it is. Uh, anyway, on Discord, I was talking about my legs hold up. It happens now. It's every four years. It used to be every year. Like gets all red, swells up. I get this nasty fever. And uh, so that today is uh, or yesterday was two weeks since that happened. My leg is still very red. It's just not swollen anymore. Ah, uh, anyway. We're gonna get up to this uh, first stop, the Beaver Bar. We have Bo Mama pick her up, and then uh, ride on through the poker. Run. 
What do you say, baby? You heard me. I didn't. I said, I don't know about picking up, but. I bet she could. Probably not hard around bikers. I get hard around bikers, but picking up is not hard. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you up here. All right, I did not record at stop number one. It's hotter than two rats in a wool sock out here. Uh, we are at stop number two, the hideout lounge, and this definitely gives off some dirty Jacksonville vibe. If you guys have ever hung out in Jacksonville, I'm sorry, but this is it. This is pretty much, pretty much it. Yeah. I love Jacksonville though. It's fucking dirty, they're better. All right, Bo Mama thinks she's gonna beat me over here, throwing darts. She's already, look at her. Look at her, she's player one. She's got me 81 to 152. What the hell is this? I love these kind of bars. Florida, I'm sure all states are, but Florida, especially the East Coast, is like littered with all these no-nonsense bars. There's no bullshit in here. There's a bar, there's dartboard, there's a pool table, and cold beer. I'm, that's what I'm about. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, here's Bo Mama with a couple of beers in her. How'd you do in darts, baby? Actually, we tied two to two. Please, tradition. We're trying to make fun of her. What? She thinks she's going to win. And what happened? She did. She did win on that one, yeah. All right, we're playing a little Hank Jr. here in this hot out bar. She did beat me twice. All right, so this parking lot just somehow became like the busiest place on the face of this earth. Girl, I don't get it. What, what's everybody coming for? Not this bar, surely. Are they going to this family food? Fucking discount at the family oh. food or a quad, oh, wherever you're from. What the fuck is this dude doing? Fucking living Damn. his life. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I, I, okay, let me tell you what. That dude right there is cooler <laughs> than an Indian rider. That dude was... <laughs> Awesome. He, that guy, look, man, I don't care about this Road King or fat the banana hammock, none of that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. If I could have half the fun as that guy was having, man, God damn. You know what I'm saying? And he honked at us and waved. What were you going to say? I was just going to say that he was like, me, me, me. No, he had a great time. That's what motorcycling is about. I don't have my other camera. I was pointing at the other camera. I don't have it. Oh, yeah? Come on. Let's go. You having a hard time shifting? Come on. I ain't trying to race. Okay. Yeah, it's easy to <laughs> say when you're back there. If you ain't got a Harley Davidson, yeah, baby. You see what I'm saying? People will always look at your bike and be like, oh, that's a cool bike. And inside, they're thinking, oh, man, what an ugly-ass bike. Oh, man, people are not going to like that. If you make it this far, people are not going to like that. You know why I don't care? Because I got a cool bike. <laughs> oh, man, I got a cool bike. Oh, boy. I'm just kidding, kind of. I've been a loser my whole life. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to stop number three on this grand Volusia County tour, the Boot Hill Saloon. We got two hours well, two hours and nine minutes to go to Boot Hill, some other bar, and Cabbage Patch. So we're going to have to... We spent a lot of time at the second stop, the hideout. We threw a lot of darts. Oh, well, I just couldn't get enough of having her ass whooped, so... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, right. No, I know. You don't have to confirm it. I know. Just kidding. We are tied to it. Only because you made me play this stupid 301 game. I didn't make you play shit. We only played one game of 301. I hate 301. Well, the other game was dumb. Cricket 200. Fuck okay, that. you chose that shit. There wasn't any other eyes like Cricket 200 or 301 or I don't know. They had a bunch. Of... Anyway, we're going to head up to Boot Hill. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to cut this off yet. I was. First of all, look at Bohama's Fat Bob. That's nice. She got a Fat Bob and a Fat Mike. Which one do you like riding more? Come on. The whole world is waiting for your answer here. Which one gives you more satisfaction? Which one tickles the picket? What? Oh, look at her trying to creep up and get away from Hey, guys, I want you to notice she's not answering that question. Which means the clear, the clear answer is Fat Mike. Tickles my pickle. Yeah. Oh, you got a pickle? All right, stop number three. We're at the Boot Hill Saloon on Main Street in Daytona. So we're doing this whole poker run 
for Miss Brenda here. Hello. Hello. So as I said earlier in the video, she got in a really bad accident back in May, trying to recover. So if you guys want to donate, I highly encourage it. And any money made off of this video, we're gonna donate back to her too. What's your cash app? I'll have the link down below in the description. So this girl here, if I was ever afraid that anybody was gonna steal Bo Mama away from me, <laughs> it's this one. This girl right here, she's always like, when are we gonna shake our ass together? I'm like, hold on, just a damn second. So that's Brenda. Shake my ass with her. That's a big deal. I mean, she is. I'm totally offended. Don't be offended. No, I'm not, I'm not offended at all. You guys get She's it, right? I like her. I like her a lot. All right, we're waiting on Brenda's drunk ass to get out here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> get your drunk ass over on that bike. Come on. <laughs> Where are you going now? Look at her. She's driving with this guy named Herc. <laughs> He's got the trunk open for her purse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brenda, she does what the she wants, I guess. Like most women. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point. Yeah, Main Street, Daytona Beach. Uh, if you guys ever come down to Daytona, don't. <laughs> don't? <laughs> yeah, you know. Just don't come to Florida. Yeah, just stay out. Go to Laconia, Sturgis. Whatever. Daytona, just leave it alone. It's not for you. This chick on this, uh, I don't know what this thing is, but it's like it's a, a Honda. No, uh, I'm pretty sure the way it, the way the tank is positioned, it's a Suzuki. Yeah, it, on the side it says Honda, so. It does not. I learned to read a long time ago. I don't think, oh, it's a Rebel. Is it really a Rebel? Look in the back of the seat, it says Honda. You can get a seat from Amazon. <laughs> You're right. She got all of her parts that say Honda, but it's really a f***ing Suzuki. All of the parts. It's one back seat. Hey, you guys, are, there's a reel that I did not too long ago that uh, actually did pretty well. <laughs> Where I was talking about how, you know, dudes were like, oh, she belongs on a Sportster. And the whole punchline was, everybody knows she belongs on a Rebel. I'm just saying. I mean, call me a prophet. If you will, put in the comments, profit, comment down, or put profit down in the comments. Oh boy. All right, we're heading to our uh, fourth stop. We got this stop, and we still have the cabbage patch after this to get through this poker run. That's been a good time. I'm pretty sure we're going to get stormed on later. How do you feel about that, baby? Yeah, it sucks, but whatever. Look at this. Look at this rebel. She's got an antique license plate. Is it for the bike or for her? <laughs> You're dumb. Meanwhile, she's like 25. All right. <laughs> uh, from Pasco County. She's from Pasco. <laughs> God, it's from Holly Hill. You guys are over this way. You guys ever come down to Daytona? Holly Hill is like the ghetto area. So it's like Pasco County if you're in Tampa. Antique. All right. We'll see you up at Porthole. Porthole. <laughs> All right, the world famous Cabbage Patch Bar. Uh, I've not been here during Bike Week or Biketoberfest. It's in a pretty cool spot. I'm assuming that if you're camping here, everybody's back that way somewhere. I would get up and show you guys, but I'm pretty lazy. I'll tell you what they're not famous for is this weak ass barbecue. It was a good snack to have from uh, taking a break from these couple of beers that I've had today. I've had two or three. That's about it. Otherwise, it was like if somebody asked me to pick and I wasn't drinking. So if somebody said, hey, you can have Cabbage Patch barbecue or starve to death, I think it would be a pretty close call. I don't know exactly what I would do. I'd probably not choose death, but uh, I wouldn't want to pick this barbecue. All right, that's going to do it for the Cabbage Patch. Bomb is up there patiently waiting. Well, she's waiting. I can't say if it's patient or not. Yeah, it was a good day. I mean, um, I've got to go back to work in the morning, or Monday, and uh, now that she's had her nice little summer vacation, <laughs> she's got to go back to work tomorrow too. Uh, you guys know she's a, a teacher-ish. Uh, she's got a promotion. Very proud of her for that. And tomorrow is uh, 
the first day of her new gig. And she'll be right back out this way. That's not too far. Not too far. Me, I start four tens tomorrow. I'm very, very excited about that. I, I would be more excited if it was like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, however, they asked me to take Tuesday or Wednesday off. So I chose Wednesday, which honestly is fine. Because I work Monday, Tuesday, off. Thursday, Friday, off, off. And I'll take that any day of the week. That does allow me, and I, I might talk to you guys at some point about it, but um, it does allow me to start looking at VA appointments that I wouldn't normally be able to get uh, because Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, kind of squashes that shit right in the butt. But that was a good time supporting our friend out there, Brenda, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that book run helps her a bit. Uh, she did say her cash app wrong on camera. I'm not surprised, really, but it's actually dollar sign bartender Bryn. I'll put that, like I said, in the uh, description, put it on the screen, whatever. But please, if you have a couple bucks, man, it ain't got to be a whole bunch. If you got a couple bucks, you know, please consider donating. I'm going to watch, I don't make a whole lot of money on each video, but I'm going to watch this video over the course of a few weeks and, you know, whatever this video makes, I'm going to donate. Um, Cause. I think it's worth it, you know, but anyway, that's for mama's girlfriend, so I feel like I'm kind of obligated. Man, it's so funny. It's so funny to watch them, because it's like, Brenda will always say, oh, no, I'm not gay, but man, she's always making some kind of comments, like, <laughs> well, you're right, right, she was hesitant to admit it, but anyway, I appreciate you guys coming along today. Um, I know some of you guys have vocalized that you really like the content of you know, working on the dying or whatever. Some of y'all don't. I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. But no, I appreciate you coming along for this video. And honestly. Yeah, so until next time, we'll see you later. We'll point this way. We'll see you later.